everybody. Thank you so much for joining us again. Here we are with Stella. He is a speaker from the Stand Western event that's coming up on Monday, and we will give you more information on that. But first and foremost, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for you, and I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you so much for that. Of course. So the event on Monday, what can we expect to hear from you as a speaker? Uh, Monday event is uh, based about uh, raising awareness uh, and uh, mobilize students about some uh, the situations in Sudan as well as in Darfur uh, crisis. And many of you uh, are aware about the situations in Sudan and, and in Darfur. Uh, so we are just going to uh, talk about uh, the situation in general and how uh, young Canadian can make a difference and support uh, the refugees in uh, therefore and uh, support the s political situations in Sudan. So it's about raising awareness uh, Monday evening. So just to mention, Stand Western is an anti-genocide anti um, awareness campaign, right. which is exactly what's going on in Darfur right now. Right. Um, so let me just start off. You're a student, yes? Yes, I'm a student at Penshaw College, so I'm not Great. here. Yeah. What, are you, what are you studying? Uh, I'm studying uh, general art and science. Uh, Great. Cool. Do you like that? Uh, yeah, I like it. It's a good program. And uh, probably I'm thinking to just to move to Westerns next fall. I, I actually, on the topic of academics, I wanted to know, can you, can you speak a bit about how STAND has um, kind of helped you with your academic career at Fanshawe or at Western? But how they helped you out? As you know, Estan is uh, it's it's big organizations and uh, it's, it's you can say one of the student structures here in North America, and it has a different uh, uh, chapters in different university in Canada. So we have in Penshaw College and we have a different activities in Penshaw College through displaying different uh, movies about Sudan, about for about Darfur and uh, raising funds to support also the refugees and uh, conducting uh, awareness events. So, yeah, and much more uh, about the stand if you go to uh, www.standcanada.ca, you can find out much more information about that. Mm -hmm. But you can also uh, come to the event on Monday and uh, find out more about uh, stand and how we uh, work and how we uh, support uh, some situation like Darfur and others uh, at plus. Okay. okay, sounds good. And other than that, I mean, do you have any major plans after you, you finish your studies at Fanshawe? Uh, my plan is uh, uh, just to move to uh, Westerns and uh, I'm really very eager to get myself to social justice and peace studies. If, if there are some students from that, uh, from this department, uh, I will be your uh, one of your uh, classmates next fall. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'm really very eager to come to Western. So that's my goal, to just to move and because I want to just basically uh, work on the issue of justice and peace. So if there is no justice, there is no peace. So there is, it's related to each other. That's why I want to come to Western and study this department. Wonderful. We can't Beautiful. wait to see how far you go with this. So perhaps you can comment just again and wrap up when this uh, event is. Give us all the information that we'll need. Yeah, so um, this Monday um, from 7 to 9 at the UCC room 37, Stan is having an event where Sala and his friend are going to tell about their experiences um, and the stories about the genocide. And there's going to be light refreshments and music, and it's going to be a really great evening. And I hope to see you all there. Great. Now I just have one last question for you, Salah. Um, what do you think that the Western community can do more to uh, bring awareness to what's happening in Darfur? There's so much more you can do, uh, or us, the Western community can do. Because uh, right now, there is a situation uh, in Sudan. Uh, the situation in Sudan is, uh, is really neat, uh, huge effort from the Western communities, uh, particularly the students can do more. Like, uh, why not we can just visit to see 
those who are need support on the ground, like internal displaced people and refugee camps. These are the main vulnerable people who are on the ground. And uh, through also putting some treasures and putting some uh, uh, speak to the leaders here in Canada so that they can make a change through Security Council or take some decisions to uh, pressure the government in cartoons and stop ongoing genocide and, and rescue the people. And, and really it's, it's a big uh, thing that Western community can do right now is to speak to the, to the leaders here in Canada or just talk to directly to the United Nations and take the actions by going down there and meet the people and figure out the real needs and, and what's the real cause of this problem. Uh, so this, this uh, but uh, finally it uh, depends on you if you really have uh, interest to change and if you are concerned about the situations, you can really change. It's, it's depend on you and how you wanna change and do better for your people like you. People who deserve the life and be a uh, human being like you. Great, thank you so much for shedding light on the story and shedding light on how we can help out for Stand Western. And one of those things is attending Monday night's event, Voices of Sudan. So all the information on our website. And once again, thank you so much for joining us.